What's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to show you how to edit faster in Premiere Pro. If you want more videos like this, just click that like button. So we're in Premiere Pro and I basically got back from an event and I was doing a lot of event content and I had a ton of footage to go through and obviously I can't show you that, but I am going to show you an example. What most of the videos are would be an interview and then I would have a ton of clips and footage to go through and basically drag onto a timeline. And my friends always ask me like, what's the fastest way to edit? Like, do you just drag your entire clip down and then do you chop it up and all that stuff? And no, that's actually not what I do. And I'm gonna show you really quick. So, so let's just break it down. I have this interview clip and let's say hypothetically, I'm talking about a, a drone or like the drone sequence that we have right here. You'll notice that right away when you open your project or if you're working on a project, your A1 and V1 layers are right here. In order to do this, I recommend changing your target layer to the layer that you want your footage to rely on because there's multiple ways of doing this for starters let's say right here i start talking about a drone and i want to add clips all you would typically do is find a clip you know and drag it down and then resize it but this is the best process that i found if you double click on it it actually opens up the source window right here and in this source window you can actually scrub through your clip just like so and find your shot. So what I recommend is change this to a half or a quarter or even an eighth if you have a slower PC. You wanna use the J, K, and L keys on your keyboard. If you hit J, it actually rewinds. And if you hit K, it pauses. And if you hit L, it fast forwards. And if you keep pressing it, it fast forwards faster and rewinds faster. So these are like my number one things that I use. I'll use J to rewind and L to fast forward and find my starting point and then just pause the clip. I'll hit I and then I'll hit L a couple times to fast forward to the end of the clip and then I'll hit O. I and O set an in point and an out point. Now that this is set, all you have to do is drag this from up here into your timeline and you have that clip right here on your interview when you're talking about drones. So how do we make this faster? Well, the way I do it is if I have this sequence right here, I'll go through my clip and I'll scrub through and find the point because I think scrubbing's a little bit faster. And let's say right here, I'll set an in point and I'll go a couple frames and set O as an out point. And I'll simply make sure that my target layer is up above the video layer. And as soon as I set those in point and out points, all I do is hit the period on the keyboard. As soon as you hit that, you'll see that it drags it down into your timeline right here. And I won't touch anything. I'll just go and keep finding more clips using JKNL or scrubbing through, setting an in point, using L to fast forward and setting an out point and then hit period again, add another clip. Click on another clip. All right, we have this cool shot right here. So let's click I as an in point tap L a bunch of times, O as an out point, and hit the period sign. You're starting to see that right away, I'm just adding clips down into my timeline really fast. Now, once you master this, you can actually add a ton of clips. Now, in your timeline area, there's a couple other key bindings that I wanna show you. It's called Q and W. So if you lock your interview layer and you don't want any other clips to move, if you need to adjust this, instead of dragging the beginning to there and the end to there and then moving that right there, what you can do is actually hit Q to basically ripple delete everything before the playhead. So if I hit Q, it deletes everything before. And what if I wanna delete this back half because I don't like my hand throwing around right there. All you have to do is click W. W deletes the entire back half of the playhead. So. Now that you know all of those key, bi key bindings, you can play around and add your own. Like you can, instead of C to cut and having to click, you, you can set it to control K if you want so that you can cut your clip right there and easily delete things. But now that you know that, watch how fast this is. If I'm still talking about drones, I can use J, K, and L and find a clip right here like that. Click O, I can click on the next clip right there. J, K, and L, I'm using L, fast forwarding. That shot looks good right there. I wanna rewind a little bit right there and click O, then click the period. And honestly, this is probably my favorite and fastest way to edit because you don't have to create a pancake timeline. You don't have to drag everything into one project and then go through all the footage. You can quickly and easily either drag or you can simply click the period sign. 
So yeah, that's the fastest way I found to actually add clips into my project. The key takeaway here is try to add as many key bindings or macros you can to your keyboard so that you don't have to click and drag because clicking and dragging is slower than actually clicking a button on your keyboard. I just wanted to end today's video if you're still here and let you know that I truly appreciate you for sticking around. I appreciate you for the dislikes, the likes, the comments, pretty much anything. Um, and I would love to hear from you. If you have a video that you're working on, send it to me on Instagram in the DMs and I'll check it out. Because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. Um, I'm not making these videos for no one. I'm making them for creators just like me. And I always say create not because you have to, but because you want to. And that's what I take with me everywhere. Long story short, I appreciate you for sticking around and um, I'm going to get some sleep. Peace.